One. Hey, CFR fam, it's Coach Pat, and uh, we want to give you an at-home workout to keep you guys healthy and fit during this uh, really unpredictable time. Uh, the workout that we're looking at today is going to be a 19-minute AMRAP. AMRAP really just stands for 19 minutes or any established time that you're working through a series of movements. Um, keep it at your own pace, and you're going to get the most out of it depending on how hard you work. Uh, the movements that we're looking at is 20 bodyweight squats followed by 20 alternating lunging steps. That goes into 15 butterfly sit-ups, 10 hollow rocks, or if we have a little bit difficulty with hollow rocks, we go through progression that we're going to be seeing a little bit later. After that, we have five burpees with some medium level of difficulty that we can tie into that. Uh, we got Chris going through this workout, so let's, uh, let's get started. So within 19 minutes, Chris is going to go through a couple of movements. Movement one is going to be a body weight squat. So when Chris is in his hip width stance, he has his toes out just a little bit, he's going to keep his chest nice and tall. He'll start by sending his hips back as his knees drive out, and he drives through heels when he comes up to complete the rep. So Chris is just working on driving through his heels, knees out, nice tall chest, and he's hitting full depth. Obviously, if you guys have weight, weights at home, grab a kettlebell, grab a dumbbell. Challenge yourself when you go through these 20 reps. But, move it with the same quality as Chris shows. Chris will take the reps. Next movement is going to be alternating lunges. So alternating lunges is a movement you don't want to rush. They're still building that muscle memory and that understanding of what it should look like. If Chris goes through a normal lunge, we're going to take a lead step. His back knee will make contact with the ground. He's just torso nice and tall. That chest being tall is a big, big part of this movement. As he's alternating those steps, he's just thinking about good hook placement, staying in line with his body. Good. If Chris wants to work a little bit harder, which I know he does, he can do lunging steps where he actually adds a little bit of flair and he hops right into that next step. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit harder to maintain for 19 minutes, so scale your own difficulty and your own level. Next, Chris. All right, Chris's movement, he got through his squats, he got through his lunges. Butterfly sit up, so if you have a mat, take advantage of it. And as Chris gets his feet in close towards his body, what's going to happen is he's going to have his arms all the way back. This is our start position, essentially. As his arms come all the way up, you're going to notice that his shoulders are stacked over his hips. That's the completion of rep. That's the body position that we want. Easy cue for that is aim to touch beyond your feet. Chris is going to knock out three reps for me. He's going to breathe on the completion of that rep so he can maintain that as he's going through these 15 sit-ups. Nice, Chris. Again, a couple different ways. If I wanted to, I would tell Chris, hey, if you're struggling, Chris can have his feet completely straight. Chris can have his arms extended, and he'll just really rely on using momentum to touch straight up. That may help. One last little caveat may be if Chris starts in that extended position, he can have his feet turn into the position he started with the regular butterfly, and it can tie into it. So he'll start straight with it, and as it comes to extension, he'll turn into the traditional butterfly. Final works for you guys. All right, Chris, squats, lunges, Butterfly sit up, hollow rocks. Hollow rocks are a group that's going to really attack forward. You're going to have to be smart with to find your own level of fitness. He's going to have his toes going forward. He's going to maintain his hollow position where his core is completely hollow and he's staying engaged. I might encourage him to keep his feet a little lower. In front of the position, he's going to be able to just rock back and forth and keep that momentum throughout the movement. If Chris is able to maintain this, which looks like he's able to, he's going to go through 10 reps. If he struggles, the regression that I want you guys to try is simply having one arm fully extended, opposite arm, opposite leg, and he's simply going to think about switching those reps. Good. So he's still maintaining that core while just working on the same stimulus that we want to see for a traditional power. We're going to get after it. That's As I said, no workout would be complete without some burpees. So if you want to see a traditional burpee, we're going to go through the standard that we would expect. So, Chris is going to start his burpee by basically starting a scroll. So Chris is going to hop down. The biggest thing, guys, is get comfortable coming completely down to the ground. Instead of doing a strict push-up, he's going to peel himself off the ground. He's going to hop his feet in. Nice flat landing. It's a big key point that he's not stressing the ankles. He'll celebrate the top. In real time, we'll go into that burpee. Hop, peel, jump, celebrate. Chris is going to do three reps. Two, and this final rep, you'll see he's in sync. Chris has always wants to work a little bit harder, so if he does a burpee where he wants to add a little bit more to it, he'll do that burpee when at the top leg, tuck jump, or when he jumps, he drives his knees into his chest and jumps a little higher. Chris will show one rep. Good. And he'll take a breath. Keep 
the amount of reps. You're doing this for 19 minutes, you have to pick what you're able to maintain for really not making any breaks. Uh, as Coach Steve made brings us in, we just want to get one more look at what this workout could be. And I want you to realize too that over the course of 19 minutes, we want to revolve through 20 bodyweight squats, 20 alternating lunges, 15 butterfly sit-ups, 10 hollow rock progressions or hollow rocks, five burpees. The goal is keep your heart rate up, stay moving, make the most of those 19 minutes while moving efficiently and fluidly. Uh, during this time, guys, make the most of what you can, stay well, and uh, get after it.